Hello everybody, Professor Howe here. Today we're going to talk about micrometers. So here is a zero to one micrometer made by our folks, friends down at Starrett at Athol, Massachusetts. I'm holding, what you see, I'm holding the frame of the micrometer. Here we have the anvil. It's a measuring face. We have our spindle, which rotates. We have a lock in case we need to lock our micrometer to hold the measurement. And here we have the sleeve and, of course, the thimble. And we have, of course, numbers, graduations on each of these. And here we have the friction thimble that allows us to take measurements equally from person to person. Now, if I take the one to two inch micrometer, you'll see that they look very similar with the exception that the one to two has a larger frame. Essentially, all the components are the same. We can make bigger measurements with this micrometer. So when I come into the lab with my micrometer, one thing that you should always do is grab a piece of paper, get your micrometer out, bring the spindle and the anvil together with the piece of paper between lightly, and then just drag the piece of paper away. All of the dirt and contaminants that might be between your measuring faces will now be gone. And you're going to confirm that this micrometer zeroes out. So we're looking at the horizontal line and those two zero marks line up. You know that this micrometer is set to go. So let's take a look at some micrometer readings. I'm going to turn our thimble out a ways. So notice we have some large numbers here. I'm going to point with my finger for a moment. We have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So now you know a little bit about reading your one inch micrometer, not only to thousands, but to ten thousandths of an inch. And if you need some practice doing that, we can do that in the lab. We're happy to help. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video.